Thank you very much. Now we want to talk a little bit about what we just uh, did. Uh, are any of you, first of all, familiar with that song? Fly me to the moon. I don't know the rest of the words. I'm not a singer. And let me play on the star. Oh, okay. okay. I'm not a singer. Any, anybody ever heard that song before? Okay. I, 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 <laughs> two people, I think. Maybe three. So, um, but at any rate, it's a song that we all know. So you notice that none of us has music in front of us. So, so the song is, is basically... You know, again, something that we all just know. So, not only do we know the tune of it, we know the chords of it, we know the structure of it. It's an A B A C song, going back to our uh, a few classes ago, uh, just discussing the form of it. And we all have that basically in our heads, so we don't need to look at our music. So, when we start playing, uh, our, I, I played a little intro on piano, which was actually about the last four measures of the song, and. Daryl and Bill, knowing the song, were familiar with that. That's kind of a standard way to play an intro. And so once I got to the end of that, then they knew, aha, uh -huh, it's time to start playing. And so we all played together without me having to turn around and say, one, two, ready, go, or something like that. They just knew uh, by past experience that that's kind of the way, the way that it goes. So then we played the first chorus, pretty much the melody, and then on the second, in the next two choruses actually, I was improvising on piano. And there, you know, I put in snatches of the song, but it was basically just making up notes. Uh, at the end of that point, uh, I played some, uh, some notes that just kind of made it sound like I was coming to the end of the improvisation. And then Daryl knew it was time for his solo, and so sure, and so did Bill. So you notice, like at the start of that next chorus, suddenly Bill got very quiet on the drums, and I was suddenly very quiet on on piano, and Daryl was playing uh, in improvisation, which again, part of probably kind of put in stanchions of the melody, uh, and so forth. Then the next. Uh, Daryl, I didn't know if he was going to play one <coughs> chorus of improvisation or two or maybe 17. You, know, you never know. Uh, but uh, it turned out at the end of that chorus, he just started playing walking bass, which means that instead of playing kind of melodic figures, you're just kind of going, well, you want to walk a little bit? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's walking. You know, and it's kind of like, I, I don't know the origin of the term, but you know, if you're just walking around, you're going, you're going left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You're not going left, 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 right, right, left, right. You know, it's just left, right, left, right. So when you hear a bass doing that, that basically means that he's gone from soloist role into uh, the accompaniment role of just playing those bottom notes. So right near the end of his chorus, I heard Daryl going into, you know, the last measure or two of that, maybe eight counts, that he was starting to walk. So that told me, without even looking at him, that he was done with his solo, did not want to take another chorus of it. And so then the next thing we did, which is kind of a standard thing to do, is called trading fours. Now, you recall from our class last week that an A, B, A, C song has 32 measures four lines, each line has eight measures, and each of those eight measure lines divides very evenly into four plus four. And we've even already seen some examples of, of that kind of stuff going on. So a common thing to do <coughs> for drum solos is for the whole group to play four measures and then let the drummer play the next four. And then we come back in and we did that for all four of the lines of that song. Or, or that structure. Uh, so Bill had basically had four different breaks, following which uh, we kind of did restatement of the melody with a little bit of improvisation thrown in, and then put a, an ending on the end of it. Um, so that's basically what we did. Now, so does anybody have any questions about that? Okay. By the way, I, I want to stand up. I'm, I'm so delighted. My Part of my family is here. Uh, my daughter Liz, who lives in LA, stand, stand up.